once each flight day test. What are they and how do we do them? So once the time hits midnight, the very first flight after that, we would have to uh, complete these seven tests, which are the overheat and fire protection panel, oxygen pressure drop and oxygen mask microphone, flight deck access system switch, cross feed valve for our ETOPS flight, cargo fire panel and weather radar test. So let's get into our seat and we can get underway with the first test which we learnt about in the last video, the electrical power up procedure. So fault in up and we're looking for 5 amber lights, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The APU detect in up light there, if that wasn't illuminated then the APU could be on fire and um, you wouldn't even know, you get no warning for it. Alright, overheat now. We're looking for the top hat since we're on DC. Press the bell and the lights stay illuminated. Extinguish the test one and two, and we've got the APU on both sides. Now, oxygen pressure drop test and the oxygen mask microphone test. We've got flight, speaker, and there's limitation in the sim. We can't press three buttons at once. So let's put on the intercom switch now. We'll verify we've got the crosshair. Press the regulator and we can hear and we can hear that we've got the uh, oxygen flow and we noted the pressure before and there's no more than a hundred drop next is the flight deck access system switch which uh, we can't do for uh, security reasons ETOPS test cross feed valve and the uh, light goes dim now cargo fire panel if your company didn't have a notice, then you would have to let the ground crew know before you've done this test. Otherwise, they'll think the uh, cargo bay was on fire. And then we would can't press the bell, but uh, we can't do that either. Last one is the weather radar test. And we can just press test here. And we get the first test with all the colours. And for the second test, you can do this one when you're uh, just about to taxi, when the ground crew has gone into the bay and there's no one in front of you because it will put off a, uh, a bit of radiation. The EFIS panel, weather, and then click Monitor test, radar display. and we'll get the predictive wind shear with Go the amber wind and shear red ahead. wind shear and wind the oral shear warnings. Ahead. Wind shear ahead. And that's the seven uh, once each flight day test. I'm going to show you two more tests that you can add to your sim swaps. This is the TCAS test. The IRS needs to uh, be aligned, otherwise you would get uh, fail, and we should hear pass. TCAS test pass. Which we do. And the last one is the GPWS test, which is right here. You can just press it once and you'll get the short warnings or you can hold it in for more than five seconds and you will get the uh, full system test. So I'm going to do the full test and if you like this video or learnt something, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Hooroo! Glide slope. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Airspeed low, airspeed low. Sink rate, pull up. Terrain, pull up. Don't sink, don't sink. Too low, terrain. Too low, gear. Too low, flaps. Too low, terrain. Glide slope. Bank angle, bank angle. Approaching minimums. Minimums, 2,500, 1,000, 500, 50, 30, 20, 10. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear, too low, terrain. Caution, terrain. Terrain, terrain, pull up.